Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the tutorial of uh, using the lifetime database tool at plasticphotovoltaics.org. To access the lifetime database, you go to solar cells and choose lifetime database, which leads you to the following page where you have the, uh, the plot that shows you the best lifetime reports in the literature until today. Uh, together with the links to the uh, references of the articles. Uh, you have also a possibility to upload your own data in this database, which requires a login profile that you can obtain by contacting the uh, administrator of the website. Uh, however, this, this part is not within the scope of this video. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the uh, tool that explores the lifetime database itself that is already available um, from the literature. Now um, to access the uh, Explorer tool you either can click the link here or you can click the link on the right hand side which takes you to um, the following page that gives you two uh, options. One says Article Explorer and the other says Data Analyzer. Article Explorer allows you to uh, have a quick overview of the data uh, available in the database and gain access to some of the articles that have published the data while the data analyzer allows you to do some in-depth analysis of the data itself. So let's start with the article explorer. Now here you have a number of filters that allow you to choose the data that you want to work with. So to start with you can choose the type of the devices you want to work with such as single cells, modules, uh, based on polymers or, or small molecules. You can also choose the uh, configuration of the device, uh, such as normal or inverted. You can also choose some criteria for the encapsulation materials, as well as the shape of the uh, aging curves and the uh, testing conditions that have been used during the aging tests. Now, after choosing different uh, by uh, filters by clicking on those. If you want to combine two, you have to press Control together uh, with the click. Um, you you proceed with submitting the search criteria, which produces the desired data. Now, under overview, you find the scatter plot of initial performance against the uh, time. Uh, on the lifetime and then on the search results you will find the 20 most recent uh, articles that have produced the data. You have also access to the uh, authors uh, that have the largest number of data reported as well as the uh, yearly histogram. Now at this stage the histogram is limited only up to 2013, uh, but the database is being continuously updated and hopefully soon we'll have the entire data available. Um, for advanced search, you also have an option to choose the structure of the devices that you want to look into. Say if I want devices with particularly P3HD, um, then I choose P3HT here which is uh, an active material and I press add row and if I want my sample to have also ITO then I choose ITO as an electrode and I add that also. This will allow me to resubmit the search and produce data that has only P3HT and ITO um, in the devices. Now the dark labels mean that the search criteria is 100% uh, matching the data while the gray means that the devices probably do not have ITO but have P3HT for example. 
Now the check boxes here allow you to uh, define which databases you want to work with. Uh, first one is the database is built based on reported data in literature. The second one, which is community data, is the data that is uploaded by the users of this tool along the time. At this stage, the community data is not available, as uh, so it's under construction, but um, soon, hopefully, it will be up and running as well. So this tool is just for a quick overview of the data and accessing some of the articles. Now if we go back to the previous link and choose data analyzer, then we will have a pop-up window. You can also click open in separate window, which will open a different page um, with, the, uh, with the same tool. Now the advantage of a pop-up window is that it won't be affected by different resolutions of the screens and will keep the same format for the plot and the text. However, um, the disadvantage of the window, pop-up window, is that if you've done some filtering work here and then accidentally clicked in the black area, then the window will simply disappear and then you have to start all over. So if you choose to work with a pop-up window, make sure that you don't click on the black space here. Now again, on the left side, you have the same filters that have been shown in the Explorer tool. Um, and again, you can choose the materials, configurations, uh, all the same. Uh, additionally, you can define specific materials in your device. Um, or you can define devices that do not have specific material in the structure. On the uh, right hand side you have the uh, plot, again the same plot as you saw on the Explorer, um, where you have the initial performance against the time at this stage. However, in this case you can actually choose what you want to have on the X and Y axis. First of all, you can choose x-axis to be logarithmic or linear, which changes the uh, scale. You can choose the uh, so-called lifetime parameters. For example, at this stage, we've chosen for x-axis to be the T80, the lifetime. For y-axis, the initial performance. You can also choose uh, the not the initial but the uh, stabilized section of your curve by choosing TS80 here and ES here. Um, you can also uh, define which PV parameter you want to work with for each axis. Um, and then finally you can uh, design your plot by choosing the coloring of your data according to materials or configuration and others and choosing the shape of the labels defining different properties of your data. For example, if I want to look into um, normal against the inverted structures, then you will see the triangles representing the normal structures and the circles representing inverted structures. If I want to choose some color distinguishment of data, then for example for materials I can see that blue corresponds to small molecules and red corresponds to polymer based devices. Um, now importantly um, you can choose for example to look into PCRHT devices against devices without PCRHT and if you choose here structure then you can see um, that the blue corresponds to devices that are built with other materials uh, while the red is based on P3HT polymer. Additionally, um, the tool allows you to compare different PV parameters against each other. If you, for example, choose E0 for both axes and you choose to produce, say, efficiency against fill factor, 
then you have fill factor here, you have efficiency here. So this is the uh, short overview of the tool and you're welcome to try it yourself and if you have any questions feel free to contact us at the, at either to the uh, administrator of the website or to myself at surg at dtu.dk.